Hello friends, I'm Zinzin, the Gamer Man with Overnight Games. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Endangered. Endangered is a 1 to 5 player game. It plays within about 60 to 90 minutes. P designed by Joe Hopkins, art by Beth Sobel and Ben Flores. Published by Grand Gamers Guild. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. How to win is by is by um saving the endangered species, which is tigers. Now, let's get going. Set up place game or in the middle of table and put year marker 1 next to calendar track. Place stockpiles of animal tokens, influence cubes, and money tokens next to the board along with offspring and destruction dice. Randomly place three blue-backed, two green-backed, and one gray-backed ambassador card face down. We are going to be setting up for tigers, but you can flip the board over for sea otter setup. Place eight tigers on the board like so, and place 16 D4 station tiles and shuffle the tiger impact deck near board. Each player picks a roll and takes the roll board, specialty cards, player deck, turn marker, all three action dice, and a player aid card. Choose which specialty your character will have, place it under your roll board, and put back in the box the rest of the specialty cards. Place turn marker and dice in their slots on your board. Find card indicated on your specialty card in your player deck and play card immediately. Actions are laid face up next to board. Continuous cards go face up near your roll board and cards which say once are played immediately and put on discard pile. Shuffle player deck and draw two cards to form hand. Randomly pick starting player. How to play. Each player will have one turn in a year. Number of years in a game is determined by number of players. Action phrase. Retrieve if not already in your play area. And roll action dice. Place them one at a time on active, on active actions and perform abilities before placing next die. Rules to placing dice. Only if only one of each color die per action card. Die being placed must be higher than die already on its ex on card, except for social media camp gain, which has no limits. There are at least four action cards that at the start of the game. It doesn't matter who played the action card. Everyone can use it and your dice stay on the action cards in, until the beginning of your next turn. Ambassadors. Use actions to place influence points on ambassador cards. After the first influence is placed, flip over ambassador to see their criteria for voting yes. Offspring phase. Count number of paired animals on the game board and add one. Now, roll offspring die. If the die is less or equal to the number, place one offspring in, in an adjacent square to a mated pair. If there are not any adjacent squares or there are no animals left in the supply, none is produced. Destruction phase. Choose a rower column with at least one tiger in it. Roll the destruction die and place a deforestation tile there. If there is already a deforestation, move the new tile toward the nearest tiger in the line. If deforestation tile lands on a tiger, it is put back into the supply. Deforestation tiles removed by actions are placed back into the supply. If you ever run out of tiles in the supply and cannot be placed, have one or less tigers left on the board, all players lose. Impact phase. Place the top card from the impact deck and resolve effects. Instant effects trigger immediately 
while persistence effects are placed face up and are triggered newest to oldest. Upkeep fees. Draw a new action card and pick a player with turn marker to go next. Year end. If no player has a turn marker, the year is done. Check year track to see if it is voting year. If yes, check each face, face up ambassador to see if they have met the requirements to vote yes. If you received four or more yes votes, the players win. If it is the first voting year and you haven't won or it's not a voting year, play continues as the first player for the new round is whoever went last for the previous round. If this was your second voting year and you did not receive four or more vo votes, all players lose. I love this game because you have to save tigers. We won and saved the tigers. There's also a Kickstarter coming soon that it's going to be so many more animals, but sadly they're endangered. And I hope we're able to s save those ones too. I also love how there's like little tigers and they look like tigers and they're sea otters that look like sea otters. I like how you can, you trying to, they base this game on that our animals are endangered and you're trying and you want to help save them. That's prob that's pretty much what they based this game on and I think that's good and I think I'm going to do that.